Hello you beautiful people, welcome to today's healing. Now I have a number of crystal wands laid out. I have wooden ones and maybe even a couple of seashells and feathers as well. I thought we would do Reiki with wands today. So settle yourself down, start to relax. Breathing in and out, gently, slowly, and deeply when you need to. Start to relax. Checking for any tension at the temples, at the shoulders, at the elbows, at the wrists and fingers, the top of your back. Relaxing, relaxing, relaxing down to the lower back and the hips. Breathing out, checking for any tension and gently letting that tension go. Now move down to your thighs and glutes, your knees, checking for tension all the way down, your shins and calves to the ankles. Checking for any tension and gently letting that tension go. Release, release. Nobody wants anything from you at this moment and nobody needs anything from you at this moment. Now, feel your body getting heavier and moving deeper into relaxation, deeper into that healing space of relaxation and calm. I'm going to place a circle around you, golden light protection. And let's start with some clearing. So this is a walnut wand, black walnut. I'm going to draw the say hey key into you. Now this is a tree cuts out competition by poisoning the earth around it. That is how it makes its boundaries. It creates a toxic earth so that nothing else can grow. There'll be sparse grass growing there, but there won't be any significant larger trees. So this is a good one for boundaries. They're also very big, they're quite low trees, but they have a big canopy. Draw that say hey key again. Right down your chakra line. Releasing and creating those good, strong boundaries. Run that down the front line, under your feet, 
up over the top of me. As I place a hand on your shoulder, we'll do that the other way. We'll start at right at your feet. Over the side, top, down the other side, creating your boundary of protection. Now let's draw in a choke ray. You might well be able to feel the different essences of wood. As I now pick up a double terminated drum beater made out of gorse, a very happy, happy yellow flower that smells of coconut. And this does have an Oem symbol on. You can get this as a Bach remedy. Let's draw that into you. On. Just going to gently brush this over your aura. This is a plant that is happy, even smells of coconuts and honey. In the UK, we call this the furs. And it is said that there is always, I'm just running it down your back now, that there is always one of the little yellow flowers out somewhere on a bush. You're almost always correct. One, a third time. Let's, let's start at your feet and bring this up your chakra line or your dantian tai chi pole as we call it in tai chi. And Celtic Reiki, which this is from, this symbol very ancient oem that this has been adopted by Celtic Reiki. To draw that symbol into you of happiness, of abundance, of joy. On, so just imagine that vertical symbol down your Chai Ji pole and the two horizontals perhaps at your shoulders and your hips, bringing the balance of joy and happiness into you and abundance. Okay. Just imagine the roots of those trees just growing downwards. If you're not feeling grounded at the moment, you can always reground during these videos. And this is a cleanser. It was an affaini, but the point snapped off, so I just softened it and ground it down, and now I use it for clearance around the aura. The stone is called Priscelli Blue Stone, and it is the same stone from the same quarry that the inner stones at Stonehenge are. And you see the glistening parts in it, the quartz. It has a good sound, so when you bang them it creates a very loud sound. And the ancients believed that it amplified their prayers, but also that it brought the stars down to earth and their stone circles 
were placed in alignment, much like the pyramids and many other sacred sites. Using astroarchaeology for the mapping of the stars down to Earth. Just siphoning off any unhealthy thoughts and patterns. Just cleansing and clearing these troublesome thoughts or feelings rise just. Imagine them being whooshed through the hole and away from you. So draw the Seiheiki in. Let's just use my hands for a minute. Now. Another Priscelli Bluestone Atheni. This time we're going to use this to direct energy in. Cho Kure. Cho Kure. And Cho Kure. Now, let me just have a look at you, see if I can work out. So, this side, I feel I need to just slice. Web of the aura. Now, just a little bit out of the other side. I'm going to ask the angels of the violet fire and the violet flame to come and surround us with that transmuting flame, so that flame that disintegrates any of this negative energy that we are kicking out here. Let's now just use these. Imagine those on your shoulders now. Breathing in and breathing out. I'm just going to swap them around because they are different weights. And I call these yin and yang. So the one with the hole in is yin, the yin knife, and the other the yang knife. Let's use the smoky quartz. And to draw in that Seiheiki again. Again, we're just going to turn it round and brush. I imagine, and sometimes I can feel it, that this heavy energy is a bit like chewing gum. Remember when you were kids and you used to chew your chewing gum and wrap it around your finger and pull it? That is how I imagine chi to feel. And you might say, imagine? Well, yes, because I don't often see the chi. I can feel the chi. And when I was Realising I was becoming a healer, I could feel chi. 
And as soon as I had a Reiki attunement, I could not feel chi. And I had to literally just carry on and hope and pray that it was reaching the people I was working with. And it was. Let's pick up another piece to help. It was reaching those people. They could all feel it. I just was the one who couldn't. I started to go to Tai Chi. My mother, who wanted to learn. And the Tai Chi master said, if you can't feel chi, imagine you can feel chi. And in a few weeks, you will. It's going to work behind you now. And he was correct. I was moving my arms around and Going through the exercises, I imagined the chi swishing around, coming out of my hands and being absorbed by my hands. And in a couple of weeks, I started to feel the energy flow. It had been eight years. So imagine. Okay, breathe in and out. Okay. We're going to use one more heavy cleanser now, and we're going to use the favorite amethyst wand that so many of you like. Say hey, he the clearance symbol. Say, hey, he. Say, hey, he. Move my ring so I can hold. Let's just concentrate on the wand rather than my hand. Release. I can't do it without my hands. I need to be even. <laughs> Let's take some from down your back. Over the top of the head. Now teasing away. Any back ache, any shoulder ache, any neck ache, any lower hips and back. I go down to the root to the Mulhadhara now, so I'm actually going to bend down. And imagine that I'm circling this wand which is pointing down to the earth right underneath your chair. Drawing it down, directing it into Gaia. That she will change up into positive energy when she needs. Okay. Let's replace energy with it now. Chocolate. Of 
your crown, directing positive, cleansed and amplified energy into you. Third eye. Throat. Heart. Solar. Sacral. Okay, now holding this underneath. Pointing it up to you. Base. And just let's seal the tip. Smooth facet, I think they might call that. If my darling friend Krishna was still here, he'd be able to tell me, Krishna, place it into my mind, please. You can talk to your people who've passed over, I'm sure you do anyway. Okay, breathe out. <sighs> Relax. Relax. Okay. Now let's replace energy. The clear quartz chakra. Chakra. Sending Reiki through the crystal, bringing white, clean light, holding it over your crown now, running it down your back. Circling around every chakra, and underneath again. That's how it feels on the smooth side, just running it through the aura. And now, I'm going to pick up a different kind of clear quartz, except it's not clear. This is called, mm, I think it's amphibole quartz or angel quartz. And the inclusions inside, I don't know if you can see it properly, resemble feathers. And you see that white there. There it is, it's come back. I'm using cinematic, which is why it keeps moving in and out. Let's turn that ring around again. Okay, so we're asking the angels to come in now. Draw chokere. That probably feels different. To the last quartz. I'll pick the other point up in a minute so you can feel the difference. And I think this angel quartz has come out of Brazil. And it feels like sideways on. Take your mind to an angel now. Imagine a beautiful angel wrapping its wings around you. 
and directing positive energy, positive affirmations in. You might even get an angel name. And it won't always be a fantastical name. It might be quite normal. Point those both towards you. Down each side of your body. Which one do you like? Let's just swap sides now to make you even. And I'm thinking about your shoulders, your hips, your arms, your legs, everything that you've got two of. Different sides of the brains as well. Smooth you. Way under you. And up your back line. Over the top. And back down to separate. I'm saying relax, but actually all of these choker rays might well be energizing you. Okay. If it is energizing you, we ask the guides that you are able to sleep tonight. And if you do find that it has amplified energies and excited rather than relaxed, then you can use this as a morning meditation as well or a daytime okay i think we'll use some seashells now let's get an example of seashells so this this is called a mitre shell and that is because of the shape of it it is similar to a bishop's mitre they call it a hat which is actually that shape. My uncle used to wear one because he was a bishop. So seashells have the spiral within them. And that seashell would have started growing here. So actually, that is the energy. The energy comes out of the opening. Let's think, how are we going to use this then? Okay. I'm going to take energy out with this one. I'm going to put it back in with this one. A trochus or a top shell. Okay. So I'm going to draw the Seiheiki. Put it in my hand. Then we're going to pull. We go the way of the spiral, so we're going to go that way. Pulling out at the heart center. Pulling out at the throat center. Pulling out at the third eye. If there's anything left. And pulling out at the crown. Brush the aura. Now if someone were to pick this shell 
out of the basket for a seashell reading, then I would ask them if they're having problems with their spirituality, their beliefs, and knowing where they are in the world and their life. This represents the spirituality. Because of what we've called it, the mitre shell. Teeth. sides of the brain pull. so had I not collected negative energy in here I could turn it around and direct energy back but I don't want to do that let me grab another mitre shell so that you can see how it feels just rummaging around now, finding one of these shells. Here we are. So here we are, fresh one. Let's replace energy. So I'm going to send Reiki in from the back. Just going to move it around now. I can hold it above you and direct that energy down into the crown, the trust, the confidence in what you believe and don't believe. Into the third eye, just spiraling. The throat. The heart. Brush this down you as well. I'm concentrating on the upper ones because this shell is primarily, I'm just down the back now to your heart centre, this shell is primarily for spirituality and belief. Okay. Now let's work with that trochus. Find a, another one. Rummaging around here. Okay. Whoops, I'm kicking everything over. Sorry about that. Okay. So, this shell, can you see those red dots? This shell would have been a little bit stripy. And they have basically sanded off the top layer. So, if I can find a Yes, I've got one over here. So this, these shells would have originally looked like this. Red, some of them are green. And some of them have different ridges on the spirals. I think these come from the Mexico area. Okay. Traditionally, we use these at the third eye shell in Oceanic Reiki. So say hey, key. 
Gosh, you're all going to be really clear and psychic after this. Let's draw that. And this is a shell of fast healing because of its pyramid shape. Let's go that way. Let's try with the shape, the spiral, winding out of the third eye and the throat. You are aiming to Work on your spirituality, your which includes hearing, communication, as well as seeing and intuition. This is perhaps the one for you. We have great fun in Oceanic Reiki, pretending we're narwhals and unicorns, placing this at our third eye. Now, the Reiki is going to come out of my hand and through the shell and into you. And I can actually draw this shell symbol into you from Oceanic Reiki. Trocus. Trocus. The way the spirals are coming in. Let's brush it down. Let me know how these all feel and what you liked best, what you didn't like. It's like reading the feedback. So just because I'm using these at the top chakras at the moment, I mean, you can't use them on the others. Okay. Take a breath. <sighs> Let's fluff up that aura a little bit. Okay. So now we come to the crystal ones that my darling friend Krishna, who I spoke about earlier, made. Let's put them in the right order. Root, heart, third eye. Let's align you with them. So you are seeing the blue peridot, uh, sorry, the blue soda light. To ease confusion, peridot for heart healing and protection. And the brown is tiger's eye for abundance. Okay. We're going to use all three of these together. Say, hey, key. the right way. 
Yeah. And it's not going to stay in the right way, are they? So let's just brush. Let's use one at a time, but I'm not going to use them in the same way. I think these are very powerful, so I'm just going to brush the third top of you with this. And this is kyanite on the end, kyanite. A very high vibration crystal. Don't put it in water. It does disintegrate. Well, it breaks apart, it fractures. I won't keep it in one place, we'll just spiral. Third eye. Throat. Now at the heart, we will use this like a wand. So we'll take out with this and we will replace with this. So as I said, peridot and this is green. Ooh, kunzite, kyanite, I'm not sure. I think it's kyanite. Okay. Say hey key, this is for heartache, bitterness, sadness, turn it around. Copper might feel different again. Any sadness around the heart, grief, but especially hate and dislike and things like that. Okay, it's not good for you to hold grudges, it's not good for you to keep mithering, there's a northern word from England, mithering, procrastinating, going over things, you know, snip them, cut them, cut the cords if you need to. Teasing out. Okay. Let's replace chocolate. I might have got the name of these ones wrong. Kyanite kunzite. I'm going to have to check those. So I will put whatever this blue stone is, because my names are, are going in my head, whatever this green one is, and I will put this. I think this is the same as the point I showed earlier, the amphibole or the angel quartz, sometimes called garden quartz. We'll work with that in a minute. But I will put those in the show notes when I've checked. Let's just spiral, gentle, loving, soothing energy in. Copper amplifies the energy. Breathe in and just breathe out gently. So I'm going to draw a Reiki Sacrum symbol called half, which stands for love. I'm going to draw a chukre one side of that. I'm going to draw a chukre on the other side of that, just in case your left and right brain are playing games with you and telling you different things. Hearth. Hearth. Okay. 
Now we come to these lower chakras. We've done a lot of work in the upper chakras. You also need to work on your lower chakras, people. The bottom ones are not balanced and never balance then the upper ones really you haven't got a hope okay so we're going from solar plexus down to root with this garden quartz say hey key Say hey key. Say hey key. Okay, let's start slicing and teasing away. Focusing in your body at your lower half. So the heart is, I see, as the balancing. It is the actual middle of you, isn't it? Now we're coming to the more material, the more 3D parts of you, if you like. Solar plexus, in the Hindu chakra system, this is your primal energy place. This is where your digestion starts to work. If you have any digestive problems, just think of those now and ask for them to be removed. Set your own intentions. Don't just do what I say. It's got to be right for you as well. So if I'm doing a, a video about what I think, and you're actually saying, no, I need this. You can just focus on that. You know, the same things work at each chakra. The same maneuvers are done, if you like. It is all for the betterness. Putting down those sides. Tiger's eye brings abundance, but it also balances and grounds because of the hematite within it. Thinking about your sacral as well, cutting away any of those emotions. Say hey. Any upset, any fibroid issues, fallopian tube issues, womb issues, kidney issues, liver issues, bowel issues, and anything else that I have not named because I do not understand. Okay, let's direct energy back in now. When I've listed these crystals in the show notes, if you want a more in-depth synopsis about them, all you've got to do is Google blah, 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 healing, spiritual properties, etc, etc. Now let's into the solar plexus.
into the sacral. Starting at the middle of your abdomen, let's loop that energy to run around your hips, crossing the middle of you, keeping everything in tip-top condition. Okay. Now the root. So I'm just going to hold it like this. Let's take energy out. Down into Mother Earth. Any excess energies, excess worries, excess hurts, down into Mother Earth for her own healing. She will transmute any negative energy into positive energy in her own good time. Think of a leaf that a worm draws down. Mother Earth, Gaia, takes a couple of years. She just breaks that leaf down. And eventually that leaf becomes something us gardeners call hummus, which adds goodness into the earth to grow other things. And that is what these negative energies, stagnant energies, I don't like using the phrase negative energy, but for want of a better phrase that everyone understands, I use it. Okay. Shock. Placing that positive energy back in to the Maladhara, to the root. Helping you to feel confident about your material life. Happy with what you get. Mm, okay, we all want a few things, but don't let it be the end all and the be all of life. Being grateful for what we have. And for... Okay, wishing, setting our sights on other goals as well. Okay. Now let's just run all of these together over your aura. And I'm going to use them all, all of the long ones. You've got everything. You've got the you've got the walnut for boundaries. You've got the gorse for love of life. You've got the green kyanite, the blue kyanite. Although I think I've got those names wrong. And the garden quartz and the amethyst. Now I'm going to draw the master symbol and the distant healing symbol. Distant healing first. Cha zi sho n. Huncha zi sho n. Huncha zi sho n. And now the Tibetan master symbol, the daikunyo. 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 All of those beautiful ones. Wood, mineral. And I get a seashell on there. Yeah, and the seashell. Okay. Okay, breathe out for me. Okay, I'm just literally now going to smooth this aura down. 
This is clear quartz. This is actually a reflexology wand. It can be used as massage tools as well. Not, I don't do massage. But this is what people often use. Underneath. And up the other side. And just to finish you off. light and fluffy with the ostrich feathers you ask the angels now angels of the violet fire and the violet flame to give you a word that is right for you at this time, a positive word. And just imagine those angel wings folding around you. Finish you off. We're just going to ground you now with this beautiful green opal heart. So now being run down your body all the way down to your feet. Put your feet on it. Rock them back and forth. Okay, hands on your shoulders, breathe down to the earth, relax, relax, nobody wants anything from you at this moment and nobody needs anything from you at this moment. So I'm going to thank you for watching. I'm going to wish you peace and prosperity. We thank all our guides, angels, helpers, animals for holding the space for us and the crystals and the wood and the shells and the feathers. And I'm going to leave you now.